<laughs> just as I started recording, the rain has just started coming down um, harder. It's been raining all day. And I'm in mid Wales, so we get even more rain anyway. But um, I found, <laughs> I've been doing some book digging, and I knew I had this book, so I ordered it from Wendy um, like three years ago when my little boy just started getting interested in winter solstice and the moon and how big the moon was in winter and, you know, running around shouting, Luna! Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, it's um, out of, like, it's just a random video because I found it today. After the move, I found the book and I put it in my box and then I was just like, I could read it. Um, yeah, Luna Moon Hair. It's gorgeous as well. Like she's she does all the illustrations herself. It's Wendy Andrews, but it's um she's painting dreams. That's what that's what pages as well. I think on Facebook I'll put all the links and stuff in um whatever it is that's attached to the video, the description. Uh, yeah, and it goes through. Oh look, so I only saw that today. I didn't even didn't even look at the front when I was reading it with um, my boy but she signed it as well like that's not a what's it a photocopy yeah no it's not one of them um yeah Luna Moon Hair a magical journey with the goddess written and illustrated she does calendars and stuff as well and I really want to get a calendar um uh for next year and I think did I get some Christmas cards from her last year I think I might have done I'm not 100% sure Anyway, I digress. Um, the hair. <clears throat> so yeah, Luna Moon hair, and this book goes through like goes through the wheel of the year, which is oh well, in like pagan tradition, I think it's, I think it's 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 following the seasons as well. It's just the natural way of living. Um, there's a little. A story with no beginning or no end, because you can literally just pick up the book, go through a season, which is what I'm going to do today, um, and read from it there. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. Spoilers. No. <laughs> um, the magical journey of Luna Moonhair is a story with no beginning or end. In this story, Luna Moonhair represents the life force of the turning seasons. She carries the crown for the holly and oak kings until it is their turn to reign, and in doing so, she holds the continuity of life. How gorgeous is that? She, As she travels her cyclic path, cyclic or cyclic? I'd normally say cyclical. If anyone wants to help me out with that pronunciation, be my guest. As she travels her cyclic path, she encounters ancient archetypes, mythical creatures, totem animals and fairies as the goddess guides Luna on her way. Uh, amazing. Okay, hair's song. I like the font as well. I don't know if you can see that properly. Kinda? Yeah. Um, let me just see if my... Whoa, <laughs> my lens needed cleaning then, I guess. Um, okay, so here's song. It says, touch me, I am your key. I am forever in your soul. Turn me and be free. Let wildness make you whole. In silhouette within the moon, I call to you to meet me there. I dance to an ancient tune. Come dance with me, for I am hair. Isn't that cool? I love the rhythm. Okay, so there's a bit about moon names as well. I'm not going to recap it, because... You gotta find out yourself but there's like loads i have this app called star walk i think it is and that goes through like it gives me a little ping to say oh this full moon is called like the last one a few days ago is called the cold moon it was gorgeous as well and the weather just it was like the, a, a lull in the day of storms and um oh, it might have been Christmas night, actually, or Christmas Eve night. Either way. Let's read. <clears throat> That's for the you can see the ring light reflection. There you go. Get the face out of it. Winter solstice. Or Yule. <clears throat> also, 
uh, apologies for my voice. I'm at the tail end of the worst virus I've had in a, in a, in years. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I keep looking at the pictures. Look at that hair with the little spirals as well. Yeah. I need to. I don't know if you can see that properly. So gorgeous. Right. Winter solstice. Yule. Once upon a winter solstice night, the icy cold moon is shining in a young hare's eye. This is now and this was then and this is Luna Moon Hare. She has travelled above, below and beyond and watched quietly as the earth fell asleep. The frost moon has waxed and waned. Luna has been happy to see the crows watching over her as she travelled. Now she is cold and she snuggles low into her form. She tries to sleep, but there is something in the air this night. An owl hoots as it flies over her head. A breeze spirals around, charging her with a sense of urgency. It is time. <clears throat> Suddenly, her long velvety ears prick up. She hears an unusual sound in the night. It is like the clatter of antlers when the deer are rutting, but this is the middle of a winter night, and not the time for rutting deer. She bounds off across the field. There, at the edge of the woods, she sees something glowing. She approaches quietly and cautiously, her body alert, her eyes wide. The glow is a circle of light, and in the middle of that circle, two men are fighting. It is the Holly King and the Oak King. As they fight, Luna sees how alike they are. They are the same, but somehow different. Clattering and crashing, they fight with staves. They yell and groan. There are splashes of sweat and blood. The two men are not well matched. The Holly King, with his holly crown and cloak, is staggering and gasping for breath. One final blow and he is thrown to the ground. His crown falls from his head. Luna's eyes fill with tears. She creeps a little closer to the dying king. He looks into the moon reflected in her eye. His strained, hoarse voice calls to eternity reflected there. It is my time to go. And where I go, I will have no need of my crown. But I will return. When the wheel has turned halfway round and the longest day has come, I will be back to wear my crown and chase away the sun. The king painfully reaches out for his holly crown and pushes it along the ground towards Luna. He implores her, carry my crown, magical hair, through the howling wolf moon night, run with my crown, magical hair, path lit by the milk moonlight, dance with my crown, magical hair, by your bright hair moon till dawn, spring with my crown, magical hair, till the seed moon meets the morn, bound with my crown, magical hair, through sap moon lit young fern. Be there with my crown, magical hair. By the honeymoon, I'll return. So gorgeous. <clears throat> A long strained sigh leaves his lips and the holly king dies. Silence holds the air still. Nothing stirs. And in that silence, Luna has a strange feeling that she has been here before. Suddenly, from all around, a great cry goes up that shatters her thoughts. The Holly King is dead. The Oak King reigns once more. Hooray! Luna looks around and realises that the circle of light is in fact a fairy ring. Gathered there are many fairy folk shining in the darkness. They are all in festive spirit. Several begin playing musical instruments. Some are dancing and some singing. Luna watches, completely overwhelmed. Her eyes are so blurred by tears that she has not noticed that the fairies have taken the Oak King's crown and placed it on his head. She hears him say, I give my heartfelt thanks to the one who has carried my crown through the turning wheel of time. Another cheer fills the air. She gazes into space, filled with sorrow at the death of the Holly King. Don't be sad, says a friendly voice. It was one of the fairies. Listen, my friend. The Oak King has won the battle this night. 
he will reign as the days get longer and the nights grow shorter. He is the king of light and growth. But do not fear, the holly king will return. Each has their time. From light into dark, from death into life, no end and no start, and the wheel keeps turning. <clears throat> she pulls the holly crown to her and pushes her head and front legs through it so that it sits around her middle. The holly is prickly, but her thick, lush fur protects her. Another of the shining beings comes over to Luna. He bows to her and says, I honour you, Lady Hare, ma'am, for you are the one who carries the crown for the absent king. We know that what is not is as important as what is. As you journey, the world changes, for it is your journeying that changes the world. But always remember this. He pauses and looks intently at Luna. One is all and all is one, and you are never alone. The festivities continue on until the night grows tired and a stillness falls upon the earth. In the dark sky, Arianrod appears. She is the keeper of the circling silver wheel of stars. She pulls back her diamond-studded deep blue veil to reveal the pink light of the Yule dawn. Her gentle voice fills Luna's long ears. The longest night is done. The sun is born and the wheel turns. She stretches out her arm and it makes a path to forever. There we go. <laughs> okay. Look at that. This is the magical way as you carry the crown through the night and day. The season's song will shift and change. All elements will rearrange. My path is neither short nor long, for how can you measure the tune of a song? Dance the path in step with your heart, and by the end you'll be ready to start. There's Luna Moon here, with the Holly King's crown, and Ariane Rod. I hope I'm saying that right. That's the end of that, of the Yule chapter. That picture. She's such a good artist. <clears throat> yeah, it's really cool. Uh, if my pronunciations are wrong, someone let me know. I'm still learning. Yeah. This is definitely the time of year to um, sit and be warm and cosy and um, reflective. And I know this is not <laughs> this is not on message for my um, for my uh, goddess series, but it's Yule and it's Christmas and it was the winter solstice and I wanted to put something out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope you've all had a beautiful, beautiful Christmas. Whatever you've been doing, magical solstice. I've um, picked some cards up for the first time ever. That was really interesting, really fun. Um, and if there are any other books, I've got the, another book called The Shortest Day, which I did have. Um, <clears throat> I'll try and read that soon as well. Um, but I am still working on my Goddess series. It's happening, it's coming together. It's nice. Yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of this season. Have a beautiful few last days of the year and go into the new year with joy. <laughs>